Uh, hey, Roberto, man. I got some bad news for you, bro. So you threatened to knock the phone out of my hand and to knock me for recording you. All right. You're under citizen's arrest. The police are here. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be presented to you by the court at no cost. Do you understand the rights of the right to you? So now let's go speak to this police officer. You don't need consent to record somebody. So don't talk about what you don't know. Yeah, I know the fucking laws. You're an idiot. Keep, keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Walk of shame. See you later. See you later. See you later. See you later. Listen. Here you go. No phone in my hand. What's up now, bro? No phone in my hand. What's up? No phone. Oh, but the officer's on your side. We go over here. We go on your here. Why are you over here, bro? Why are you going over here? Listen, don't talk about it. about it. Don't beat you up. You dismiss. See you later. Fake ass tough guys. Fake ass tough guys. Dude, there's no cop over the hill. Let's go. Yeah, put the phone down. I'm real tough with the phone in my hand. I'm tough with the phone out of my hand. Yo, there's a cop right there. Well, there's no cop over here. Well, you're one of those guys that starts a fight in front of the principal's office just because you know the fucking teachers will break it up, you coward. Coward. Quickly funded. What are you guys doing this for, anyways? I don't need to answer that question. Okay. Well, I'm asking All right, you perfect. So we're just going to continue what we're doing. For what reason, though? I don't have to answer that question. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Give me a reason why, though. No. You can call my supervisor right now. You can, you're more than welcome to do that. You can call the police well, too. Reason, they you're going to be wasting, the wasting valuable resources to do it. Come on, let's go talk. No, I'm fine right here. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, bro. Thanks. You'll do what? If I record you, you'll knock the shit out of my phone. Just don't record me without my consent, brother. Okay, that's so first of all, that's a threat. What's going on guys? Josh with Accountability for All and today with the Registry of Motor Vehicles in Danvers, Mass. Not only are we conducting a First Amendment audit, but No Name has some business here today. Let's take a look. You should be new only if you go down the yard. Yes, What's up today? How much? How do you exchange your ID or your driver's license? Say it again. Do, what's the process yeah. of changing an ID or switching a license to another state? To another state. Yeah. Uh, do you have the out-of-state license? Not on me. Um, it has to be current and valid yep. or within one year. Yep. And you need these documents yes. along with that. So you need an out of state license. Yep. One of the, for real ID or standard? Standard. One of these. Mm -hmm. This is only if there's a name change. Everything must match. Okay. Social security number. Mm -hmm. And proof of address. Okay. And that's it. Thanks, Larry. You got it. Yep. Larry was pretty nice. Mm -hmm. All right, so maybe they won't get, you know, maybe they'll be fine with us filming here. <clears throat> can't take pictures in here. I'm sorry? You can't take pictures in here. Oh, is this a public place? You can't take, Marie, Roberto. You can't take pictures in here, right? No oh, you can't? No. Is this a public place? You cannot take pictures here. Is there a law? Is there? Oh, so it's public. That's yeah. So, so there's no expectation. Yes, we can. There's no expectation of privacy in public. You can't take pictures back there, but we can take pictures. Roberto. Back yeah, Roberto might want to help. Hey, Roberto. Yeah, actually, we can. We can. Yes, we can. This is, this is. Well, first of all, I don't answer questions. Secondly, this is a public place. There's no expectation of privacy in public. So I can absolutely film what I can see in public. This is publicly funded. What are you guys doing this for anyways? I don't need to answer that question. Okay. Well, I'm asking all right, what perfect. Doing so we're just going to continue what we're doing. For what reason, though? I don't have to answer that question. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Give me a reason why, though. No. You can call my supervisor right now. You can, you're more than welcome to do that. You can call the police, too. Reason, though? You're going to be wasting, wasting valuable resources to, to do it. Come on, let's go talk. No, I'm fine right here. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, bro. Thanks. Nine.
So I wonder if his video is going to go as viral as the DMV guys that that made that the same mistake at the Wilmington DMV. I'm surprised you didn't see it. It's got like 250,000 views on my channel. That's fine. If they want to figure it out for themselves, they can do that. We don't get intimidated by guys with guns. I'm asking for government assistance and government Yeah, you I'm can't not, do it with the phone. I can't do it with the phone. You can't take pictures of me. Yeah, I can. Well, I it's no, public. Whoa, 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 guys. It's public. Guys, I want, my, I, want the, I want the information on how to get a dealer's license. Yeah. I got a dealer's license. Call the uh, DMV's police. That's fine. Deal of police? I don't think you guys ever heard of a deal of police. That's fine. All right, so now here's what we'll do. Now we'll walk around and we'll film, and uh, we'll wait for the Danvers police to come here, and you know what they're going to do? Don't want they're going to teach you a plate. very valuable lesson today. I can't get a deal of plate now. Are they denying you? I mean, we're actually here for like... So, so let's take a walk. We'll explain what's going on. So we can actually... Here's what we're doing, right? We could just be in here absent of any reason, but he's actually doing two things. He's trying to exchange an ID from out of state to Massachusetts, and he's asking about a dealer's license. So now they're refusing him service because he's conducting a constitutionally protected activity. I don't think the security guard knows about we the people, because we the people have the right to conduct a constitutionally protected activity in a public place. Uh, let, him, let, let, let him figure out. He's about to learn a very valuable lesson today. This is the problem, giving, giving security guards guns. Because they have no idea like, what the Constitution is, so they really have no idea like, what a gun is. Like, you know, If they're violating my First Amendment right, why are they exercising their Second Amendment right to defile my First Amendment right? I think that's a great question. Let's put that out to the viewers. It's okay. He's going to learn a very valuable lesson today. I have a feeling we're about to figure out right now what happened. Because they know about my Wilmington video. That one went viral. I'm trying to tell us that, that we have to get a authorization to take her picture. There's no expectation of privacy in public. So what's up, bud? Uh, so technically, yes, can uh, be videotaping. We can. But just obviously awesome. on the counter. So. so here's the thing. We're not here, like, for people's personal information. So we're not, like, trying to capture any of that stuff. However, if you want privacy, you need to create it. So anything that I can see, I can film, and I can certainly do it. Like, go, I just Definitely can't walk. Counter, so. Yeah, I can film the counters. If you want to call the cops, you can call them. Right, I can do that. Here, right? That's perfect. So well, at least you learned that we can film here. And I'm sure that was your supervisor, right? Because he probably learned from the Wilmington incident where they thought that we couldn't film, and that video went viral. So you're proving a point, I guess, right? No, we're not proving a point. Like you, so the Second Amendment allows you to carry that firearm, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm sure you know how to use it. And you practice using it, so you're exercising your rights. Okay? So that firearm, you're allowed to use it to defend our First Amendment rights. We the people. Freedom of the press. There's no expectation in privacy. So what we're trying to do is bring awareness because if someone doesn't know their rights and they come in here filming and you tell them they have to leave, that's wrong. That's a violation of their rights. So we're coming here to educate the public. And you were educated today, right? So that's perfect. So now you know for next time that this is fine. And the Danvers police are going to tell you the same thing. They can't stop us filming from behind that counter. What I can say is that we're not here for patrons. Um, but if I want to film... Like, they have to create privacy. So if there's, like, personal information behind there, they actually have to cover it up or put it away. Um, they, it's not our job to create public privacy. That's, that's your job. Yeah, Clearly, we're not here for patrons. So we're just going to walk around. We're going to wait for the Danvers PD to get here. Uh, they know who we are, and they're going to let you know that this is fine. Because we can just come in here just to film. We actually came here for a purpose, like an actual purpose beyond exercising our rights. Um, well, they're not going to talk to you because you're conducting a constitutionally protected activity, which is like, goes back to the 50s, man, because not allowing us to do something, like refusing him service because he's conducting his civil liberties, it's the same as denying him service because of the religion he practices, the color of his skin, his sexual orientation, his religion. You can't do that. And that's why we're here, man. All right. So he found out that, that we were right, which is awesome. We're usually right. So now we'll wait for the Danvers PD to get here. And now that the supervisor of security has now let them know that we can film here, because this is legal. Are you talking to me? Yeah. All right. 
come back. What's going on, man? So, uh, nothing. Um, are you a part of the media? Um, I think we all are our press. Yeah, man. Um, so are you a, like, credentialed member of the media? So you know who gives out press passes? Private companies. There is nowhere in the United States that actually issues press passes. Private companies give their employees press passes to identify which media firm they're with. But, so, so that means, no, you are not a member of the credentialed media. No, no, no. So there is no credentialed media. So, is what I'm telling you. No, but I'm just asking. I'm not. I'm pressed. I'm just. I'm pressed. I'm holding. I'm. Rec I'm recording. Our, I'm documenting you right now. So I'm pressed. That's pressed. fine. Uh, All right. No, that's fine. I'm just perfect. Because I'm just trying to determine. Do you have Do you have internet on that computer? Yeah. All right. Go ahead to YouTube and you can look us up right now. Wait, no. 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 no it's. No. I'm not saying you can't film right now. Okay? okay. I'm just. I was just asking if. Yes, I'm a journalist working on a story. All right. And, I, and as you can see, I have millions and millions of views. That's great. Actually, you know what? I have more subscribers than local media. So That's I guess that great. would make me credentialed, right? That's right. great. I mean, that... Appreciate it, man. Thank you. No, no, I'm not... Oh, sorry. No, no, Go no, ahead. I'm still... Because... Yeah. As long... You, so technically, yes, you can film. You just have to make sure you're not pointing it towards any... Like this side of the computer. So any place where there's private information... Well, here's the thing. You can't trespass what your eyes can see. So, for example, now, I can film... If there were license IDs... Now, I'm not here for people. I'm not here for the patrons or their personal information. Yeah. But if there was an ID or a credit card right there, I could go like this. You can't trespass what your eyes can see. It's your job to create privacy for the public, not mine. So, yes, that's why I'm trying to say, like, if you are going to film, please make sure you are trying to not film towards... Well, I'm going to film what I can see in public. I'm, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told him. I'm not here for the patrons. And as he's seen, every time a patron walks by, I raise my camera so they're not on film. We're not here for them. We're here for you guys. But if it's in public and I can see it, I can film it. So I'll, I'll say that for a warning. Thanks, man. So they're trying to tell me I can't do this. But I can do that. There's no expectation of privacy in public. Wow, they got something that no other place has. Hand sanitizer. That stuff's probably worth about a hundred bucks a whack right now. So let's wait for uh, the PD to get here. They close at five. Yeah, so here's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to fill out a Freedom of Information Act request form. Okay. I'm going to FOIA. I'm going to FOIA request the officer's salaries. Now, why am I going to FOIA request the officer's salaries? Because I'm going to count how long the officers are here dealing with this. We're going to figure out about how much this is costing the citizens of Danvers for calling the police on a non-emergency call. So, let's take a look. Are they out here? Not yet. So this is exactly what I mean, guys. So we can figure out that the police probably make about, we'll, we'll say, for example, 60 grand, okay? And they come here and deal with me for an hour. We're going to fill out a Freedom of Information Act request form. We're going to figure out exactly how much it's costing the city of Danvers to have them come deal with people that are conducting a constitutionally protected activity. Were you in the military, man? No. He hasn't sworn an oath to the Constitution. Yeah, man, you have that firearm because of the Second Amendment. It's your duty to protect the First Amendment. The Second Amendment was only created to defend the First. I mean, that's. Do you know what the First Amendment is? Freedom of the press, peaceful assembly, redress your grievances. You know, it's, it's very important, man. You wouldn't have a firearm if not for that being established. You, you know, it's, I understand maybe some people are uncomfortable, but feelings don't trump law. Guys, we are on about a 15-minute response time from the Danvers PD. I wonder if the Danvers PD is not responding because the registry called and said, hey, there's guys with cameras in the lobby so they decided not to come or make it a priority because what we're doing is legal. That's, I'm guessing that's probably what happened. We're going to wait for him anyways.
She's saying, Roberto, where's the PD? The PD doesn't respond to, you know, normally, well, at least they don't respond fast when you call and say, hey, there's someone here that's not breaking the law. Can you please come? Excuse me. No, that's, I mean, you'll get educated that we can do that today. She was just, she was just saying that we couldn't film behind the counters, but as long as we don't physically go behind the counters, we can film behind the counters. Well, they're just not making it a point to come because the police really can't like do anything when people aren't breaking the law. Mm. Right. Now serving Y twenty seven. Larry's been super nice though. Nine. Larry, has anyone ever told you you have like an announcer's voice, like a radio voice? I heard that. Thank you. Yeah, no, you definitely like if I was tuning my radio dial and I got to your voice, no matter what you were talking about, I would definitely stop, and I would listen for a while. You have a very cool voice. Yeah, they call the police. They just don't come. I don't think they're gonna come for like non-emergencies. Like this is legal, so I mean they might come, but they're not gonna. They're not gonna step on it. Hang on. You'll do what? If I record you, you'll knock the shit out of my phone. Don't record me without my consent, brother. Okay, so first of all, that's a threat. No, don't record me without. Well, here's the thing. Well, how do you, how do I record around you? But first of all, not record you. You can record around me. You can record anybody who wants to record me. You know, when you threaten somebody, so you fire just on your hip, that yeah. becomes a felony. What was now? So so now is now a so now we're gonna call the police. Watch how this works. Go ahead. I'm a felon. Cause you know what, bro? So now I'm gonna report a crime, cool. and I'm recording you. So now we got a crime. This is beautiful. Officer, how are you? Good. I need to report a crime. I do have it on film. Uh, we came in here to record. I think they called you because we were recording. The security supervisor let them know that he, he wasn't aware at first. He said, yeah, they can record in here. So that's not the issue. Okay. The issue now is the footage I'm about to show you where he says, if I record him, he's going to knock the shit out of me. He's going to knock the phone out of my hand and knock me out. Okay. So now I'm going to have to press charges for No, when for you have a, a gun on your hip and you threaten somebody like that, that becomes a felony, yeah. right? Okay, uh, well, I'm, what I'm going to tell you is you can take that down to the Salem District Court and you can file a complaint if you'd like. But I have a police officer here right now. Okay, but him threatening to assault you and not in my presence isn't an arrestable crime. Um, well, I'm going to show you video evidence. Then you can decide after your investigation, but you haven't even conducted one yet. Okay. So I'll show you the video evidence and then you can let me know where to do with it from there. All right. Okay. Perfect. Not being disorderly, we're not yelling, we're not screaming, the whole thing's on video. Mm -hmm. So I am in fear of my life anyways because of the firearm. It's, it's his freedom, Second Amendment right to carry a firearm. Mm -hmm. That is not what puts me in fear. Mm -hmm. But when he tells me that he's going to assert physical force mm -hmm. to stop me from conducting a constitutionally protected activity while he is armed, that becomes assault. Okay. Um. In fact, I'm going to place him under citizen's arrest. All right, man. Um, I would, uh, you're not going to place anybody under citizen's arrest. I mean, I am right now. You're just trying to incite some type no, I'm of not. reaction out No, because of me. guess what? I'm not. Because, because I've I... been to your station and we gave you a good report. Okay. 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 Have I been nothing but cordial with you? But, but what I told you is exactly what happened. But I just showed you a crime and you want to do nothing about it. So no, I no, will. No, no, no. I didn't say you I was going to do court. anything about it. Did an it... assault take place? No. It didn't. All right. He verbally threatened to knock the phone out of your hand. Again, okay. so physical not force. in my presence, even with a recording. So let's ask him if he'll do it again in front of your presence, and then you'll be forced to do something. Police are here now. Let's do police presence. All right. Where's, where's this guy? Where's this guy? So this is beautiful. Oh, Roberto's this way. Roberto's this way. Oh, they're, they're calling Roberto again. So here's how this goes. Uh, hey, Roberto, man. I got some bad news for you, bro. So, you threatened to knock the phone out of my hand and to knock me for recording you? All right. You're under citizen's arrest. The police are here. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be presented to you by the court at no cost. Do you understand the rights I've read to you? So now let's go speak to this police officer. All right. Let's wait outside. I mean, I'm, Sergeant's coming. 
so so, sure so I've door. I've just read him his rights. We yeah. haven't been trespassed. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, we'll wait for my sergeant. So let's, let's we'll ask wait for him. my sergeant. So why did you tell me you were going to knock me for recording you? So now you're trying to assist Roberto in breaking the law, asking him to go to the break room. We haven't been trespassing. No, 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 no. I'm asking you, Jamin, to just hang Well, that's outside. a request. I'd my rather wait here. Coming. I'll wait here for My me. sergeant's coming. We haven't been trespassed. You can talk to him. We haven't been trespassed. I'd rather wait here. Thank you, though. Okay? I'm not going to engage with him anymore because he's a criminal and he has been placed under citizen's arrest. So, I mean, but here's my major concern. Instead of just asking him, hey, listen, I saw the video. Why'd you do this? Investigating a real crime? Mm -hmm. You tell him to take a break and go in the break room. You ask him nothing about what just happened. Well, you showed me what happened. What am I going to ask you? Okay, but that? it didn't happen in I your presence, so... To a response no, what I'm trying to get you to do is to no. do your job. Okay? I'm getting you to, to, to do your job. And you can't solicit a trespass from her either. Okay. You know what the First Amendment is, man? So when you guys gave us a, a good report on the last time, what mm -hmm. was the uh, circumstances of it? We just came into the lobby, we recorded, no one gave us a hard time, the lieutenant was super nice, and we gave you a report because you upheld your oath, unlike what you're doing now. Okay. But maybe they didn't fail last time because you weren't there. Okay. All right? Five o'clock. Are you conducting any business in here? Actually, yeah, we are. All right. He can conduct business. What Perfect. Did you take a number? Perfect. Okay. All right. Perfect, man. That's great. You guys have, need something done? I need that number for the phone number. Yeah. So he just needs a phone number? Yeah. Well, they've been refusing us service because of what we're doing. Dude, you should be ashamed of yourself. I know, I know. You should be, man. Listen, I have plenty of videos of good cops. In I fact, know, I was invited I for Ride Along with Drake and Petey. You know who I am. I know. I know who you are. I should have recognized you. You should have recognized me? I should have. Are you subscribed to my channel? I am, yeah. Big well, YouTube fan. Yeah, so tomorrow, the video is going to... It was about Roberto, that piece of shit. Mm -hmm. But now it's about you, this piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, man? So. Come on, guy. Did, did you serve in the military ever, honestly? All right. He's done. Let's go. Did you ever serve in the military? Oh, so are you escorting everyone else out? They, everybody else. Is How do you business. know? Did you conduct an investigation? She asked them. They could just be sitting here loitering. I don't have to conduct an investigation. What's your, I know that you guys aren't doing what's any your, business so, here. So, what's your, you so we're only leaving because it is, it is closing time, so uh -huh. I'm going to give them that. What's your name and badge number? Officer Green. Okay. 10760. Okay, so let me ask you a question. How long have you been violating people's rights? Uh, how long have you been a piece of shit? I'm sorry, that was a loaded question. That's not fair. How many people's rights have you violated just today? Just today, not including yesterday. How many people's rights you plan to violate? You know Bob that works in the Danvers PD? Yeah, I do know Bob. He's fucking awesome. He is a okay? Good guy. Not only did he treat me well when I was arrested and in that police department, you were we, arrested? Yeah, man. What were you arrested? By Officer Costa. Oh. Yeah, it turned out that it didn't work out for her. Okay. It didn't work out Can for her. you, uh, what happened? If you don't mind me asking. Um, she alleged something that, that, uh, and you guys at the time, I don't know if you do now, you did not have, um, footage. You did not have dash cam footage. So she said, because I didn't have a license, that I was driving a vehicle. And that I jumped from the passenger seat into the driver's seat. However, it turned out we got other camera footage that showed I didn't do anything like that. Okay. So, I mean, she's a liar. Uh, and Bob was super, super nice in honoring his oath. So my problem isn't with all cops. My problem is with bad cops. And when you came here, it would have been very simple to even walk in there and be like, listen, man, did you threaten him? He would have told you yes. He's proud of it. He doesn't think anything's going to happen because you guys both have a gun. He'd be like, listen, even if you didn't want to pursue charge, you can't do that. Your response was to tell him to go into the break room. And guess what we're doing now? You're about to be fucking famous for being a douchebag, not for doing the right fucking thing. All right? And I think that you know by my channel that, that a lot of people are going to see you. A lot of people. Assault is a reasonable apprehension of fear of a, a crime about, a battery about to occur, right? Mm -hmm. So somebody with a gun is technically that, right? So technically a felony did take place. Technically you could arrest them because it's a felony. It's discretion. Now the gun's on his side. It's discretion. But it's the thin blue line is that we're worried about. But it's not even that. This guy would have gladly yeah. said that he threatened us. He just doesn't want to do shit. He told him to go He's into the break room. You a U.S. citizen. We could probably deport him right now, but I guess we're not going to take that route, are we? Were you in the military? 
I was in the military. You were? Dude, shame on you, brother. Shame on you. You swore an oath. It's not like the other officers. Listen, you know, a lot of people become cops because it takes 18 months to get a barber's license. It takes six months to become a police officer. So if they're not aware, maybe it's because they're fucking ignorant. We can chop it up to that. You swore an oath. Like, you literally took time from your family so I could enjoy time with my family. You swore an oath to the Constitution. When the fuck did you stop honoring that oath? I'm serious. I'm not even, this is, this, I am so disappointed in you. And I take this line, I don't use this line of questioning with other shitbags that I meet. I'm using it specifically with you because you actually swore an oath to the Constitution as military. I did. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of fucking shit. Piece of fucking shit. Bye. Guys. It would be felonious for me to dox or to ask you to interrupt emergency lines. So I'm asking, do not call the Danvers Police Department in Danvers, Massachusetts. Do not look on Google for the phone number. And when you find that number, do not call. Do not call the Danvers Police Department in Danvers, Mass. About Officer Tyrant. What a piece of shit. So the building did close, that's the only reason we left. No name was able to finish his, his business in there. So now we're waiting for the sergeant. And guys, you can't, like, even the haters out there are gonna have a real hard time saying that we targeted. Because our last video with Danvers was phenomenal. Bob's in there doing booking, working behind the desk, making sure that he's defending people's rights, that he's honoring, honoring his oath. Unfortunately, he's not on the street like this piece of fucking shit. How many views do you think you'll have by tomorrow? Let's just do like, a, like we'll make like a friendly bet. So, do, do you think 20,000, 50,000, or 100,000? What would you say? I don't know. Do you think that you'll possibly lose your job for this? Go ahead, Tish. Received. Received. <laughs> How did I know you're gonna say that? Uh, now I'm gonna FOIA that too. You go free too. Now I'm now I'm foyering that phone. Oh, he wishes he never showed up here. That guy's under citizen's arrest too. I'm pursuing that. Um, yeah. Where are you going, man? Am I creating privacy? He locked the doors. <laughs> fucking coward. Locked the fucking doors. I think he's gonna leave. If he does, we'll go right down there. This is Officer Coward. I wanna go right down to the security agency. I'm gonna go right down to the police station. Yeah. Is what I'm gonna do. Now he's trying to cop explain because when he first got here, he didn't know who I was, and then it sunk in who I was. Even he says, "Well, I shouldn't have recognized you." Yeah, you should have because before you started, and I would have loved to see him knock the shit out of anything concerning me. Notice he's probably used with that gun to walking up to people and have them back down. Yeah, I didn't back down. I stood right where I was. See, and I'm so scared. I went back in and placed him under arrest. These guys are taking a walk of shame today, and then drive a shame, actually. And then we're gonna go down to the PD and follow up with this. Don't need consent to record somebody. So don't talk about what you don't know. Yeah, I know the fucking laws. You're an idiot. Keep, keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Walk of shame. See you later. See you later. See you later. See you later. Listen. Here you go. No phone in my hand. What's up now, bro? No phone in my hand. What's up? No phone. Oh, but the officers on your side, we go over here. We go on your here. Why do we go over here, bro? Why do we go over here? Listen, don't talk about it, be about it. Don't beat, you're up. You dismiss, see you later. Fake ass tough guys, fake ass tough guy. Dude, there's no cop over here, let's go. Yeah, put the phone down. I'm real tough with the phone in my hand. I'm tough with the phone out of my hand. Yo, there's a cop right there. There's no cop over here. 
Well, you're one of those guys that starts a fight in front of the principal's office just because you know the fucking teachers will break it up, you coward. Coward. Is your supervisor on the way? Hi, Sarge. I go now. I am so sick of being here, sir. Yeah. How's this working out for him? Huh? Are you coming to assist? Yeah, man. The, this uh, security guard in there had a gun and he threatened physical harm on us, so we just reported it to this officer and we're asking for a supervisor. Right, right. Yeah, it's nothing to do with Oh, you're in the stuff. military? I am. Hey, thanks for your service. Thanks, sir. Thank, you, you uphold your oath? Well, here's the thing. You, you honored your oath. You swore an oath to the Constitution and you're doing a great job. Do. This guy's not doing it right now, man. So we got active military, right? And there, he's offering assistance. Police academy. He's doing a great job. Not even present. I'm guessing he's gonna tr probably file for the police exam. He already has. He definitely already he's has. He's on his phone over there too. What are they he didn't want to, as soon as he realized that it was us that was threatened, he didn't want to offer assistance anymore. Yeah. Supervisor on his way? Uh, I'm going to be with you in one second. Alright, man. Did they lock us up? I think they did. Oh, they did. Yep. Oh, it's getting cold. This is New England, guys. You can have one day where it's 66 degrees and the sun is shining, and then two hours later, it can be 20 below zero and you can't feel your toes. Welcome to New England. Hang tight for me, okay? Yes, sir. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, so I think now he's, they're probably telling him that he has to go talk to this security guard for threatening me because they don't want the blowback of not investigating. Either that or they're going to try and solicit a trespass. Those are the one of two options. All right, guys, so they're now talking to the security guard probably about his threat. Sorry, I can't get better footage than that. I'm talking to the security guard and he's like, uh, threat of violence, Doug Josh. Let's see what goes on here. Threat of violence. Threat of physical harm. For conducting a constitutionally protected activity. Unacceptable. Oh, Roberto has to submit information for a report now. I think the police realize that it's in their best interest when they're presented with evidence of a crime that they follow through. And Roberto is a piece of shit. And if this cop does follow through with the report, we will thank him. I do want to find out if it was only followed through because he got a direct order from his supervisor. I'm thinking it may be a sergeant or a lieutenant by the bars. What's going on, guys? Going How are on, you, sir? Are you the, uh, the, the supervisor on duty? I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm not. All right, just cool. the other officer. What's going on? All right, so we were in here filming, yep. and like they had a big problem with it, and they called you guys because we were filming. Okay. The security guard here called the supervisor, and they let him know that we were allowed to do it. Okay. So at that point, there was really no issue. I think you guys were so already... So you with you guys filming? Yeah. Okay. You guys were already called, but then it turned into uh, an issue of violence because he said on film, and I showed the other officer, okay. that um, if I filmed him, yep. he was going to knock me out, and he was going to knock the, knock, out the knock the phone out of my hand. So at that point, I placed him under citizen's arrest. Okay. I notified this officer here, and he just yep. told him to, he just told him to go back in the break room. Are they inside? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go talk. To yep. Them. But I think after speaking to your sergeant and him understanding like you my don't YouTube know channel, I, do, but I gotta go talk. To yeah. You do your thing, man. Thank you. Can I have your name, please? Yeah, Officer Dismaris. Thank you. Appreciate it. In the cold, if keeping you in the cold, he owes you a beer now. Yeah. Okay. 
Don't worry, we'll let him know later. You owe Officer Damaris. You owe Officer Damaris a beer because you made him stand out in the cold. I know. Um, can I have your information, sir, for this report that you want me to file? You're filing a report. Yeah. All right. I will give you my information only for the purposes of you filing a report. Okay. Excellent. Is this a report for criminal charges? Uh, it is going just to an be incident report. An incident report. And okay. Then you can file criminal charges at Salem District Court using that incident report. All right. Okay. That works for me. Joshua Abrams, I, I did know you. He did know me. I did know you. Silly, silly. I know. And, uh, and despite the way that you were being a dick today, I'm still going to be happy with Officer Bob because Officer Bob's great. If you want to give it to me? Um, I'm going to give you my email address. It's the easiest way to get a hold of us. Okay. You got a slot for that. It's uh, J O S H. A is an alpha. Sorry. Uh, a is an alpha. Yeah. 1487 at gmail.com. And that goes right to me. I'll get it immediately. All right. So I'm going to file an incident report on this. And, uh, you know, a couple days. Uh, you can come pick it up, take it to Salem Court, file your charges, okay? All right. Yeah, I'm going to go down to the police station right now. Is the sergeant still coming? Uh, uh, that I don't know. Because I can just, I mean, I've requested a sergeant, so I'd like to speak to him, and if he's not coming, I guess I'll just go down to the police department. So, can you tell me which one? You guys are great at giving directives. Can you give me one? Actually, this officer has been nothing but nice, so I'm, I guess I'm directing that at you. So, should we wait here? The was responding. I can give him a call if you want to speak to him now. Otherwise, you guys give him to the police station. Yeah, I can do either one. Okay. Would you like to go to the police station? Actually, yeah, I'd like to go to the police station. Okay, okay perfect. Then so you can, can go to the police station. Yeah, you can let him know that I canceled the call with you, and I'm going to go there. You might not get the sergeant. You might get the lieutenant because he's the one that's going to be at the police station. That is fine. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Yep. Appreciate you doing your job, man. Thank you, Officer Damaris. Yeah, Officer Damaris is really awesome, unlike this officer. Huh? I'm walking to do a perimeter cruise now. I want to get the other side of his cruiser. All right, what do you all right, guys, so here's the thing. If you're filing an officer complaint... No, I'm going to get that done there. So if you've... It's not been filed yet. So if you're filing an officer complaint, you don't have to provide ID or anything like that. However, we are about follow-through. We don't just go have someone try and violate our rights and then do nothing about it. We follow through. So when filing an incident report or a criminal application for affidavit, you have to provide your ID because there can be no crime without a victim. Right? So we did that today. Okay? Hey and now they have to go file the report. We'll get the report number and we will follow up with this officer. Which cruiser number is he in? So we can file our officer complaint today. Share, like, and subscribe. I know you'll like.